of Adams County Commissioner. Upon which I'm about to enter. Upon which I'm about to enter. I think that a lot of times we can find solutions when we bring people together. I pledge to work with all citizens, elected officials, county staff, and my door will always be open for common sense conversations. Whether they're employed or they're our constituents, that, that we are there for them to try to make things better. Before becoming a county commissioner, I worked at the DA's office as a deputy district attorney. Worked there for almost five years and it was one of the best jobs I ever had. 2001, I became the first mayor, a woman mayor that Brighton had ever had. Uh, it was interesting because I had friends say to me, Brighton will never elect a woman mayor. So I had to go out and prove them wrong. The only time I ever ran for office was in student government. And I think at that point, when I was in high school and college, involved in student government, I realized how fun it was to actually serve. And I really enjoyed that aspect of it. Uh, getting out there and working with different stakeholders to try to find solutions to problems. You can't change anything unless you're part of the, of the process. So that's, I guess, basically how I've learned. I've always had an opinion and I had to get involved to get it out there, I guess. My background really kind of led me to wanting to run for county commissioner because my involvement in the neighborhoods as a volunteer and my volunteering on the planning commission, dealing with land use and long range planning. I live in Brighton. Same home since 1971. <laughs> My father and brothers built that home for us, and so that has special meaning to me, too. I currently live in Welby, which is unincorporated Adams County, and it's the, uh, about 72nd and Washington. I love that area. Uh, we get to interact with a lot of the other unincorporated neighborhoods. My husband and I, this year, will be married for 49 years. He does complain every now and then about the fact that uh, that I, he didn't know he was getting hold of such a political machine when he got married, so. <laughs> I'm married, I have two kids, an eight-year-old and a 10-year-old, and I enjoy being a dad. It's a lot of fun, it's a lot of work. There are times where I'm having to juggle going to meetings and basketball games and baseball practice, but that's no different than every family in this community. Because the county is gonna grow, this is kind of what we went through as the city of Brighton. The infrastructure needs have to be very well done and thought out. Um, and when you're thinking county-wise, it's so much different than the city. So uh, those are probably some of the, that's probably one of the biggest issues that I would be concerned with is we're gonna grow, how are we gonna grow? What, are we gonna be prepared for what we want to be? Economic development is important because we have to use our heads to pay for what our hearts wanna spend. And we have a lot of families and people who need help in this county, and that's part of the job of a county government is to provide services. But in order to get there, we have to be able to pay for it. And I think that through economic development, we could create those opportunities to pay for all the other services that we need to provide. Adams County is the best place to live.